Hello and welcome. I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Where we left off last, we were doing some wars and stuff and killing people. And uh, this is the eighth episode of our Let's Play the Republic of Genoa playthrough. Let's see how the world's looking. Norway is currently attacking somebody else. Looks like Sweden, Norway, and Denmark are all attacking the High Chief Andiamo of Estonia. Not very nice of them. They're kind of jumping in on them down there. Looks like Russia is having some problems. Rostov is apparently in the middle of a three-way war. It's uh, the Yaroslavian War for Grand Prince Izaslav... Iz oh, gosh. Izaslav's the first claim on Rostov. Somebody wants his stuff is basically what that means. Um, <laughs> and he's also dealing with a holy war and another claim on Rostov. So getting, getting definitely some problems over there going to prevent him from forming the Kingdom of Rus, I think. Byzantines have imploded, apparently. Let's see. Looks like the invasion is over. How did that end? No, no truce here, so I'm guessing that... What? Doesn't look like he actually conquered any of it. And he must have just come of age recently. 18-year-old who's already ill and stressed. He is definitely going to die pretty soon. Going to cause constant turmoil in the Byzantines. Right now it's the... Oh, look at all those supporters. Wow. The Thess Thessalian War for Prince Andronico's claim on the Byzantine Empire. So lots of supporters. He must have some terrible traits. Craven, cruel, very low diplomacy. Um, yeah, he's just, I mean, hes he's got some problems. So he's going to lose this war, and then uh, we'll see a new emperor there. Other than that, uh, what else we got going on? So this kingdom down here is apparently attacking south in a conquest war. That's good. Focus downward, don't focus northward. I'm just stealing all of Spain. No big deal. Oh, oh yeah, and so Genoa um, is apparently doing very well. But uh, before we look at them, let's check these out. Still dealing with their Holy War for Seville, it looks like. Second Galician Holy War. It is only 55% in favor of King Galic Garcia. So Garcia, King Garcia here is probably going to inherit, or probably get this entire duchy down here of Seville, which is going to be um, these counties, these four. He's not at war with the, the Sheik of Cadiz, so he won't get that, but he'll get these four, which I don't like, because I want that land. Um, but we'll deal with that in a moment. And I also forgot completely about that um, Duchess of Tuscany, Independence Revolt. I did not remember in time to do any attacks on her. We'll just keep expanding to the west. That's okay. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of this land. Ooh, two castles. That's, that's a pretty good county. So we'll do that. Um, I'm going to do the same thing as before. I will get rid of these titles because I want to... Ooh, it's a, it's a homosexual with 21 stewardship. That sounds like a good candidate for a mayor. Um, I want to get rid of these so I can get them converted um, as quickly as I can. I'm not going to give them to my own family members or anyone who is heir to anything because I want them to remain independent single counts. And I'm giving it away by stewardship because two reasons. One is that the stewardship will increase the income that they generate, which increases the speed that they upgrade, which increases the tax revenue that I get and the levy that I get. And two is that it will increase the rate that the, the land gets converted. Now. The way that the cultural conversion happens is based on um, religion conversion is based on your court chaplain's learning skill. The cultural conversion is based on the stewardship of the, the person who controls the actual title. So the people who have the actual count, like I'm making the highest, highest level of these little counts here 
have high stewardship, and they're my my uh, culture, my religion, so they sh they're going to help convert the culture. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to get the culture of Italy to spread over here. There we go. Actually, yes, we did. All right, good. So this guy, fortunately, got a event to bring the Italian culture over, and he's spread Italian culture this way. And then now these ones have the ability to do a, um, a culture conversion event. So we should be able to spread the Italian culture, which will get rid of any foreigner penalties and make our land very strong and secure and homogenized. Um, essentially, we want to commit genocide. You know, let's just get rid of everyone who's not Italian and Catholic and uh, go from there. So, oh, I apologize, I am still suffering from my sore throat, so I am drinking as much Mountain Dew as possible because caffeine is a little known cure for sore throats, I think. Um, but yeah, so, we have a niece who needs education. That just sounds like someone to give me a relationship bonus. I don't really care about her traits very much, but let's see what Wayne Kirstead can do. Oh, I'm not going to get any relationship bonus with him. Apparently with no one. No one cares about girls. She's not important. Alright, well in that case, uh, let's raise her up to be a... Let's see, what are women good for? She's never going to be a person who manages a county. She's never going to be in battle. She's never going to do much of anything except for plot, so... Uh, let's just, yeah, whatever. Somebody can train her up to be a plotter. With her gossip. <clears throat> we got a little bit of money. Let's upgrade something. Let's get just a tiny bit more, and we'll do another one of these. These are not quite as efficient as the, uh... Ooh, another son. It's automatically named him Arumba because it's my name. It's uh, it's in the random num random name generator databank now for this this dynasty. So it's chosen Arumba. Um, I'm not gonna choose Arumba. I'm gonna well um hmm. Okay yeah I guess I will. I'll leave it in for now. Um, but if I get some more people liking on Facebook or following on Twitter, I'll probably replace it. I don't need to keep playing myself. That's kind of silly. I'd rather play as one of you guys. So. For now, I'll leave it as this is a placeholder, but um, like on Facebook or follow on Twitter, and I will replace it with you, if you so choose. First person to claim that title, claim that person, gets him. Good luck. Palace has been built. Yay! Trade posts! Okay, so maybe not. Maybe I'm not going to be upgrading any of the town stuff. So, how are we doing on trade posts? We have eight of them. Yes! Good, good, good. All right. All right, let's change over our steward then to collect taxes. It'll be a massive boost to income since he's affecting two cities plus our county, our main holding. And I think he might even be affecting the trades, uh, the trade post. Collect taxes plus 42%. Yeah, he is. So that's, that's good. Although, I mean, hold on for a second. I don't think that math works out. 34% plus 40%, plus 10, plus 42. That's 44.7 plus 40 is 84.7, plus 42 is 100 point... Okay, no, it does, it does. 120 something. That'd be about... Yeah, okay. A lot of both... It's, it's additive, it's not multiplicative. You would hope that with four separate multipliers that they'd be all multiplicative meaning that you'd get, you know, a stacking bonus, but it's, it's additive, so you just add them up. That's why the number doesn't feel, didn't seem large enough at first. Oh, shoot, right, military. Gosh, what am I doing? Our vassals are starting to get quite upset with me for keeping their army raised forever. So let's see if we can win some wars without their vassal, without their armies. And in the meantime, let's check on these relationships. Well, if you're so upset about it, why don't you just go die? I'll just kill him, and then his heir can take over, and he won't be upset with me anymore. I'm going to count on the assistance of you, Navarin. And anyone else want to join us? Quite a few people want this guy dead. Glad to see it. Gosh, you know, invite almost everyone. What's his problem? I don't know why they... There's a lot of people don't like him. 
All right, so we still have 3,700 mer mercenaries who were hired. Um, how are we doing on the retinue front? Cannot afford a retinue yet. Do we have a special retinue? Pure pikeman. Yeah, let's get that one. Um, hmm. It will not allow me to raise crown authority. And I'm not really 100% sure why. It might, I think, be because they're treating it as if I've already raised it once. In which case, we'll just do this. I'm going to piss off the Pope. Right now, the Pope... Eh, not the best relationship with the Pope. But I don't think anyone's going to excommunicate me. So I'm going to change this to free investiture. So I have better relationships with my vassals. Which will increase the likelihood that they pay me taxes and give me levies. Um, and also make my vassals like me better. I think that's the preferred position to be in. And in the meantime, we need to dis decide, can we go on any more holy wars? I think I have a truce with this guy. We'll set him as special interest. Oh, nice. You can actually... There's a declare war icon. Nice. And how about this guy? This guy's dead, so we can get rid of him. So that guy. When he dies, we'll attack the next one down. In the meantime, uh, apparently we can attack this guy. Probably the sea, or this queen here. Ooh, she's excommunicated. So one of the brothers got upset when she won and got, requested that she got ex excommunicated. If we win, we gain a little bit of piety, some prestige, um, and she is forced to step down. She abdicates to Alfonso. I'm not really sure it's worth our time. We don't really gain anything by it. Just a tiny bit of prestige, which isn't really worth it. Um, let's attack the boy. We'll do a holy war for the remainder of Mallorca. I think we'll be okay. We should be able to, to take it with just our mercenaries. So we'll bring some boats over. Deal with all these people accepting my invitation. Thank you for joining us, Navarin. I would expect you to do so. You're kind of old, man. You're 69 years old. You're not gonna. Li you're gonna. There's no way you're gonna outlive me. You're gonna die way before you have a chance to be heir. I'm sorry about that. You yeah, ambitious old man. It's just not gonna happen. There's something I noticed. Let's see. One, two. One, two, three. Why would? Why would you do that? Let's just go through here. No, no, no. Go to Cadillud, then go to Castilian, then get on the boats. We've got two people to educate. Um, all right. Lisa Bits. Ooh, we need to get you a good person. Maybe we should even educate you. We're not going to get any relationship bonus with anyone, I think. Yeah. All right, we'll educate you myself. Make sure that you get a good education. Only because you're a named person. If you were just some random person, I would, I would just pawn you off to the nearest bishop. Let him have his way with you. I mean, educate you. Um, that was that was kind of crass. But and how about this boy? Now this boy is—he's got the big teardrop, close family member. So I think we'll probably get the relationship bonus. No, we don't. It's my nephew. It's not my son. So all right, fine, 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 fine. Some continuity there would be nice, but. All right, let's just trade up, train up a steward. Can always use more stewards. <clears throat> Even though he's never going to get a title because I'm not going to give him any because he's going to be a trade post generator. And I need more money so I can build trade posts. Every morning, especially when the weather is as splendid as it is today, you like to go out on your balcony, lean against the railing, and take in a deep breath of fresh air. That railing doesn't look right. You inspect the railing, only to discover that someone has sawed through its supports. The slightest nudge would have been enough to make the whole thing topple over the side. Had you leaned against it as usual... Failure! Serin Doge Arumba the first discovered the sabotage that had been done on the railing. At least he is clueless as to who deserves the blame for this. Navarin. Why is your icon here? What is your... Are you trying to kill me? You bastard. I th Patricia Nicolo perished. Okay, so we killed somebody. 
Are you just showing up because you're my spy master, or are you showing up because you're trying to kill me? Do your damn job, man. Find out who did that. That's ridiculous. I bet it's you. In fact, I'm not going to let you be spy master anymore, because I don't trust you. You have everything to gain by murdering me. You're in a position of power, which allows you to have incredible plot power versus me. And it's just too convenient. I don't care if you've got 15 intrigue. I'm definitely going to pick someone else. And I'm going to scheme here. Even though you have your own thing, I should I should scheme here. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to piss this guy off by doing this, but I want to. I want to investigate this. I'm going to scheme where Navarin lives. Because I think you're a scheming little bastard. I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out what you're doing. Okay, so we offed one of the patricians who was upset with me. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this guy, too. Isn't that mean? Basically, I, uh... Yeah, Navarin's not... You're not happy with me, are you? Well, I'm not happy with you. But basically, I, I raise someone's levies for a few decades, and then I just murder them when they get mad about it. <laughs> That's not... Not the nicest thing, but oh well. Now, a small amount of money. Can we build any more trade posts yet? Um, we will be able to after these. No, actually, there's already a trade post on these. There's just two islands here. One, two. There's nothing here. Barcelona guy really doesn't like me, though. Wants control of the city of Lieda? And Tarragona. Why are you upset about that? What? What on earth? Lieda. Oh, is that part of the duchy? Yeah, he wants these two counties. That's why. They're, he, they're part of his, his duchy, so he feels like he should have them. Alright, so I'm not going to be building any trade posts on his territory anytime soon. But I could... Could expand this way. He hates me. All these Muslims hate me. Well, we'll just take their land and then we'll do it. This army is taking forever to get here. I'm losing money each month. Why? Levy and... Oh, it's probably those damn boats. Those things are freaking expensive. Those boats are 180 gold a year. That's a lot. Small little tiny bit of Italian. See, one of the reasons that you want to try to do it that way is, take a look here, Lord Mayor Michel, <laughs> that's a girl name, um, his county, even though it was attacked at about the same time as these ones, notice how these still have the cultural penalties? Well, since we've converted this county to Italian, it has no penalties anymore. So you definitely want to try to convert territory as quickly as you can. This thing is now generating 28 gold a year again. And it's by far the most, uh, what's the button? There we go. I think it's U. Yeah, U brings up the income screen. So it's got the most income of all the territory we've conquested so far. All right, so let's win this holy war here. And uh, let's just assault. I don't want to wait. we got mercenaries. We can afford to spend them. Assaulting just decreases their numbers, which decreases the cost. Patrician is no longer the guardian of my son. He has somehow died. Um, unfortunately, all these people found out that I did it. Oops. He did a decent job with my son. He made him cruel. Which gives him morale damage and defense from being patient. That's good. Let's educate somebody. Uh, this guy's got great stewardship. I'm fine with that. And we need a new chancellor. 
Now this guy's got better diplomacy, but I actually am going to choose the bishop because I want to increase my relationship with the bishop. Um, it's it's more important to me to have better relationships than it is to have two extra diplomacy. I'm not too concerned really about diplomacy that much. Just keep working on France. I don't I don't really care that much where he, where he works. We succeeded with our plot. Um, yeah, and there's no more duchies to create. We've got to usurp them. I don't really want to do that. I'd rather build trade posts since we're below our limit right now. We could build three trade posts right now. We should. As quickly as we can. And surprisingly, oop, looks like they got called to the war. We've got to end this quick. Surprisingly, you can walk between these two islands. I find that surprising. These two are separate, but this is one. Makes sense, right? Except for that part where it doesn't. And apparently I'll have to attack this land as well. So you can walk between these two. You can't walk between these two because it's one, one county. But you can't walk between these two. Makes sense. <clears throat> Maybe I should go to war. Um, <laughs> he want. I'm gonna threaten you, Navarin. <laughs> I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged from, from joining any factions. There are no factions, but I'm going to threaten you anyway. Stop it, Navarin. Don't try to kill me. Let's see what you have to say about that. I stumbled into a courtier eating cookies outside the kitchen. The courtier apologized several times, then offered me a cookie as an apology for being in my path, and the cynic in me got the best of me. I lost myself in cynical comments about how the courtier was trying to poison me with baked goods, probably spoken out loud. All right. So I'm just being cynical, which isn't... I'm not actually being murdered. Um, I get cynical for what looks like about a year. General opinion, minus five. And, uh... Oh, well. I'd rather be cynical than dead. That's right, Navarin. I ask for forgiveness if I have done something to offend. I obviously wouldn't dream of associating with any faction conspiring against you. Or your enlightened rule. Signed, Lord Mayor Navarin. You're forgiven, you little bastard. Don't try to kill me. If you kill me, I'll, I'll kill you deader. Alright, so I think that's a good spot to end it. I'm going to siege that last one. Gotta raise the boats and take over some more of his land. But we should be able to seize that holy area there. And uh, when we come back in the next episode, we will continue to uh, conquest the world. Now, if you do want to get added to the Characters of Special Interest, you want to get a title, feel free to follow on Facebook, or no, the other way around. Follow on Twitter or like on Facebook. Just make a comment somewhere so I know which title or county or person you'd like to be. If it's not taken, I'll glad gladly give you any character in the game. Um, just let me know what you'd like to do. I just special interest. So thank you so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thanks.